Hello to all my college football fanatics out there. Welcome to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. My friends, I'm not beating around the bush. Let's get right into this video. This is going to be a bold video for me and a bold prediction. But I am going to state why Alabama will beat the Michigan Wolverines. One, Michigan versus perfect 13-0 Michigan coming in facing number four fourth ranked Alabama Crimson Tide coming in at 12 and 1 for the 2023 college football playoffs. My friends, when I broke both of these two teams down, number one, the big edge for me, why Alabama will beat Michigan is one big reason what more can you say? The GOAT, Nick Saban. We are talking about Nick Saban and all of his, I believe, seven national championships that he has under his belt. I do not believe Harbaugh has any. In fact, I'm being sarcastic. I know Harbaugh does not have any for Michigan. And when you break these two teams down, we are talking about the SEC Conference versus the Big Ten Conference. Now, with me, everybody knows Buckeye Vinny here. And without a doubt, Scarlet and Gray, those are my boys. But being fair and balanced, all my college football friends out there, we all know, hands down, the SEC is the better conference. Out of all the Power Five conferences, the SEC is the best. So when you break down Michigan's Big Ten schedule, and you break down the SEC schedule that Alabama played, hands down, Alabama played the harder schedule. Now, you Michigan fans watching, you have to admit that. Michigan had the easier schedule. Yes, they had Penn State. Yes, they had Ohio State. And obviously, a okay Iowa team. But my friends, when you break it down, hands down, SEC Conference, the best in the country. When I broke down these two defenses, yes, Michigan has the number one ranked defense in the nation. But when you break this down in the past four to five games, Bama's defense has been on. They've been much improved. You know, when you look at this team, Dallas Turner, nine sacks. Chris Braswell, eight sacks. Ibo Jibi, hope I said it right. I've been botching his name up, but I'm trying. Seven sacks. And Caleb Downs leads the team with 99 tackles. As a whole, we're talking about a Bama defense that has recorded 38 sacks on the season. 38. Team interceptions, 12. Tyrion Arnold has five of them out of the 12. A very good defensive back and secondary that Alabama has. Out of the two, who do I think more physical? Going to have to go with Alabama, my friends. When I broke this down, the Alabama's O-line has done a nice job, for the most part this season, protecting Jalen Milrow. Milrow, 23 touchdown passes, only six picks. That's it. And my friends, tack on 12 rushing touchdowns. Can Michigan, who hasn't played really anybody with this type of caliber team that Nick Saban has this year, can they neutralize Jalen Milrow? <clears throat> I don't think they can, my friends. When you break it down, Georgia, who had a very good defense this year, I wouldn't say great, but they had a good defense, they could not neutralize Jalen Milrow. This is a dual-threat quarterback. 
He can beat you with his arm. He can beat you with his legs. I do not think, and this is my big reason why I'm making this bold prediction, why Alabama will defeat Michigan. It's because I do not see Michigan being able to stop Jalen Milrow. And I just do not see Michigan able to guard the very talented and stay step for step the very talented wideouts and skilled set position players that Alabama has. You know, when you break this down, Alabama and Michigan has faced five times in the history of Bama and Michigan football. Alabama holds the slight lead, three wins and two losses. And the last two games have went to Alabama. 2012, where Bama just put a total whooping on Michigan, 41-14. to 14. And in 2019, Bama defeating Michigan once again, 35-16. to 16. So my friends, these two games, when you break it down, have not been close. Okay? They have not been close. I just do not see... Coach Harbaugh being able to stay step for step and coaching against Saban, I, I, I don't see it, my friends. I, I truly do not. You see what happened in 2019? I just don't see it. Don't get me wrong. Michigan has a good team, yes. But when you look at the strength of schedule, my friends, I, I have to give the check mark to Alabama. A better played schedule. And let's be honest, when you mention the SEC, not only do they have very powerful offenses in the SEC, but they have, for the most part, very physical defenses in the SEC conference. And once again, I just don't see Michigan staying toe for toe to toe with this Alabama offense. I don't. Alabama can score on you at will. Jalen Milrow, like I mentioned, 23 touchdown passes, has completed 66% of his passes. Not bad at all. You know, when Alabama, and I do believe this, can shut down Blake Corum and that running attack, can J.J. McCarthy come through? Now, we all know J.J. McCarthy is a very good running uh, quarterback, no doubt about it. But when forced to pass, is he going to be able to find time with that big, strong D-line of Alabama? And Alabama's very talented secondary and safeties. I don't see it, my friends. I, I truly don't. You know, this game's going to be one in the trenches. I've always said that. Let's stop and look at it. Bama versus Georgia. That game was one in the trenches. Okay? Bama did a nice job against the Dogs in the SEC Conference Championship stopping DeJon Edwards and, and Kendall Milton. They truly did. Those two running backs combined for net 78 r rushing yards in that game. That's it. And these are two very highly talented running backs for the dogs. But the game was won in the trenches. Alabama's D-line overpowered, for the most part, Georgia's O-line. Do I see the same? And Georgia has a damn good offensive line. Do I see the same thing happening with Michigan? I do. And then you factor in Nick Saban and his coaching abilities. This is a very dangerous team, my friends. I've always said, if you're going to lose in college football, lose early. Well, that's what Bama did. They lost early. I think it was week five. Don't quote me. But I think it was right around their week five when Texas Longhorns went in to Tuscaloosa and knocked off Bama. But it was early. From then on in, Nick Saban, 
and the Alabama Crimson Tide, they've been playing with the chip on their shoulder that whole season, this whole year, after that loss to Texas. So, my friends, the bold prediction is here is what I just gave you. Why Bama will defeat Michigan. Number one, Bama got the better coach, hands down. Number two, Bama does have the more physical defense. More physical. Now, I know you might say, well, Buckeye Vinny, they're giving up 18 a game. That is true. But they play in the better conference and out of the power five. Take that in consideration. Out of the two, I think Jalen Milrow is the better quarterback. I truly do. Out of the two, I think uh, for the most part, the D-line of Alabama is better than Michigan's D-line. I believe that Nick Saban and Bama will force, will force J.J. McCarthy to have to pass. And we all know what happens there. If Bama stops the run, which I do believe they will, J.J. better bring his A game, which I don't see him bringing. My friends, if you are new to my channel, Buckeye Vinny here welcomes you. Please click on the subscribe button. If you like this video, which I hope you all do, please smash the like button. And like always, please comment down below. I would love to read your comments, how you feel, if you feel like me. And, you know, I don't want to hear anything that, well, Buckeye Vinny, you're just sore because the team up north defeated your team, the Ohio State Buckeyes, and that's why you're rooting for Alabama. No, not the case, okay? I follow college football. And, like I mentioned, it's not rooting for any team because I want to get back at the team up north that beat my team. No, I'm specifically saying that Bama is a more physical team and a better coach team than Michigan. Case closed. Like always, my friends, peace out. God bless. That's all Buckeye Vinny has for today. I'm out of here.